May the bodies come together to offer robes to the community of Sangha. As the offering of the tin robes is Sangika Dana, then it is considered one of the greatest meritorious activities by For about the serenity practitioners, they must first develop absorption concentration. After that, they need to continue the training of insight. When the Buddha taught the thumbs training, how many meditation objects the Buddha taught? Maturity meditation, mentality meditation. Okay. When the Buddha taught Rupa meditation, Buddha taught four elements meditation in brief or detailed methods. 
So, after having developed absorption concentration, we see relative practitioners need to continue for any meditation to know and see the ultimate material. So when they practice for immense meditation after having developed an amount of fortune, finally they can break the body down into very tiny small particles. And they need to analyze ultimate materiality exists in each particle. After that, they need to continue ultimate. They need to continue mentality meditation. We know we see ultimate mentality. Then we continue teaching meditators. We know and see causes and effects. At that time, they are ready to proceed inside meditation. Okay, this is not a tradition. This is the way taught by the Buddha. That's why those who could practice, they appreciate very much. Oh, now we are practicing what the Bodhisattva had practiced, what the Buddha had practiced, what many of his disciples had practiced. Not part of method. If you emulate the way the Bodhisattva practice for his enlightenment, it is also possible for you to practice here. I will teach you that.
오늘은 연기에 대해서 말씀을 드리겠습니다. 언제 베나 리버 안나다 워스 프라이티스인 안나 워나 포레스 투게더 위드 아워 러브 포게 Why the sun is always in this way? Divine origination factors are very clear to his mind. He approached to the Buddha in the evening. Then he informed, informed to the Buddha, Pange, divine origination is actually very deep and proper. However, it is very clear to my mind. In this way, he informed to the Buddha. At the day, Buddha says to the Venerable Ananda, You should not tell like that. You should not tell like that. He does not know that the Masa Ananda Buddha of the Veda, Eva Maya Bacha, Tanda Kula Gacha, Kula Gani Gacha, Mongja Pabacha Buddha, Abhaya Dhukde Unipata Sasara Nati Buddha Di. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Maybe I recite this subject because this is not my original speech. This is original speech is Buddha's teaching. I want to explain in this way. What is the meaning? Ananda, because of not understanding by direct knowledge this divinity origination, And because of not penetrating by different stages of direct knowledge, this divinity origination, all these these beings are not escaped from the round of rebirth. Oh. They cannot escape from the four pole states. Quoting this sutra, especially with Sri Mega and the Samoha Vinodini commentary, explains. Bawang cakap mabedale dawa asani ucakap miwa nicak ni macamana? Sansara bayak madidoh nagoci supi nandri piaci. What is the meaning? So the meaning is samadhi is like a stone. Upon this stone, you must sharpen your wisdom knife. Wisdom knife. 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 아, 삼매라 부처님께서 이런 What is the meaning? Concentrated mind is the proximal cause of wisdom faculty. If there is no concentration, wisdom faculty cannot work. It is passion. For example, now please pay attention to your body. Can you see clubbers? 자, 예를 들면 여러분 몸에 주목을 해 보십시오. 알라파를 볼수 있나요? 이것이 뭐예요? No, because you have no concentration. But concentrated mind can see this clubbers as well as can analyze those clubbers and can see adimit materiality as well as adimit mentality and as well as their causes that is dependent or generation. What are clubbers? Maybe they translate very closely subatomic particles. These clubbers are not ultimate materiality. This is the smallest group of materiality. As soon as you see space, then you can see clubbers. You must practice four elements meditation if you want to see this space element. What are four elements? Earth element, water element, fire element, and wind element. If you practice four elements meditation systematically, when your concentration deep becomes deep enough, you can see transparent body like ice block because you cannot see space element. If you do not see space element, you cannot break down the competitiveness. If you cannot break down the competitiveness, you cannot see clapper. 
And then they both had kids to see space. That concentrate that my own being poor elements object also produce a strong powerful light. That light is called the light of wisdom. With the assistance of the light of wisdom, if you penetrate to see space element, other than you can see space. As soon as you see space, then you can see clouds. If you see four elements in each club, this is the last stage of Samatha. Last stage of Samatha as well as the beginning stage of Vipassana. Because of this reason, this four elements meditation is both set, Samatha and Vipassana. If you get the same four elements in each particular, each club, then you should continue to do same. Color, odor, flavor, nutritive, essence, light quality, transparency, etc. You can easily paint these derivative materialities. Odor, dish, agasa, tattoo, space, element. For clear understanding of these derivative materialities. In some clubs, there are 10 types of materialities such as Earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence, light faculty, and eye transparency. In the same way, we should understand ear transparency, nose transparency, tongue transparency, and body transparency. Why they are called transparency? Here, Kadi, in Chawida, Ruba Dina Gahana Bawina Ruba Dina Gahana Bichia Bawina Ada Satalam Via Vipassana Da Pasada Ruba. This is the definition given in Visoji Maga about the verification. But I will explain the meaning. They are quite transparent, robust materialities. So if there is no eye transparency, eye consciousness cannot arise. If eye consciousness cannot arise, then one cannot see colors. In the same way, other transparencies are also you should understand in the same way. If there is body transparency, body consciousness arises to be the own body transparency. Body, body consciousness can be tangible object. In some clubs, there are in the same way, ten types of material, but they are not transparent. They are open clubs. There are two important materialities, self-determining materiality and heart base. Heart base is my base or my consciousness. That heart base arises to be the own inside your heart. There is blood. The way they own that blood, this heart base arise. So all together, there are di different types of derivative materialities. If you can analyze these clubs in this way, other than only you can understand ultimate materiality. But nowadays there are many scientists, they do not understand about these clubs completely. What is the reason? In their laboratory, they can test only temperature bone materiality. According to Buddha's teaching, this group, if we divide this group as there are four groups. Number one is Kama bone materiality. Number two is mind bone materiality. Number three is temperature bone materiality. Number four is Nutriment bone materiality. Karma is connected with previous karma, not present karma. Present karma is if there is any future existence. This is the cause for future material, future fat aggregates only. So, to understand this is karma bone materiality, we must try to get some high pass causes. But these five parts causes I will explain later. Every consciousness, which rise to be the own heart based. 
can produce my own material. So without understanding heart beats, without understanding my consciousness which arises to be my own heart beats, you cannot discern my own materiality. Yeah, please try to see. Oh, pain is surgery. Which produce this pain? Which produce this surgery? You are mine. That mind is raised to be the own your heart beats. That mind produce uncountable mind bone kalapa. These kalapas spread throughout the body. Up to this end, they also spread. So, if you analyze these kalapas, in each kalapa there are eight types of materiality. Among these eight, there is wet element. That wet element again produces bodily intimation. Because of this bodily intimation, the new new kalapas always rising and passing away. The new kalapas, they cannot rise. Same place, in the same place, they rise in different place. That different place rising is, you may see this is Bene Sraje. But if you see Kalabas, you cannot see this Panga. You can see only Kalabas. These Kalabas, there are eight types. Among eight types, there is bodily intimation. That bodily, because of this bodily intimation, the whole all robust, they do not rise in the same place. If you do not see this process, then we can say you do not understand my own materiality. There is also another consciousness. Here, I consciousness. That I consciousness cannot produce I own materiality. In the same way, here consciousness also cannot produce I own cannot produce my own materiality. Nose consciousness also cannot produce my own materiality. Tongue consciousness also cannot produce my own materiality. Body consciousness also cannot produce my own materiality. In the same way, you are brave. I want to tell about this. If you can do some four elements in your brain, you can see Brain is nothing but a group of clubbers. Among those clubbers, one clubber is body decade clubber. In that body decade clubber, there is body transparency. To be there in body transparency, body consciousness can arise. Body consciousness knows only tangible object. That body consciousness also cannot produce vibe body reality. To be there on that body transparency in your brain, there are eight types of mentality, including body consciousness. Among, I will calculate, I will calculate this thing, <laughs> because I have something to tell about yes. this problem. Mm -hmm. Number one, consciousness. Mm -hmm. Number two, yes. contact. Number three, feeling. Mm -hmm. This is neutral feeling. Then, number four is perception. Yes. Number five is volition. Yes. Number six is one-pointedness. Number, uh, number seven is light faculty. Mm -hmm. Number eight is attention. So all together, eight types, of, eight types of mentality is on. Among these eight types, there is no wisdom faculty. Wisdom faculty rise to be the only your heart based only according to Buddha's teaching. But you can discern practically. So now we have explained karma bone materiality. Number two, my bone materiality. And now, number three, temperature bomb materiality. What is temperature? In your eye, there is eye integrity club together with eye transparency. 
If you analyze there are 10 types of materiality, among 10 types there is fire element. That fire element can produce four or five generation nucleus. This is temperature bomb materiality. In the same way, in your mind bone club, there, if you analyze my, your mind bone club, there are, in each club, there are eight types of material again. But this mind power is very different. Ordinary mind, such as now you are, talk, you are listening, or I am talking, such type of mind, <coughs> listening mind, that fire element can produce two or three generations only. However, if your mind is like Chana mind or Vipassana mind, that mind has strong power. That mind can produce uncountable millions of kalapas. Now many meditators, they can see light here, 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 etc. But what is that light? This is the light of Western. So how this arises? Hmm? You are discerning your breath or you are concentrating on your breath object or you are concentrating on your nimeta, anabana nimeta. If you can concentrate well and if your concentration also becomes deeper and deeper, other than that concentrated mind associates with Western personality. That wisdom deeper when this wisdom faculty's power is very strong and powerful, then that mind can produce jhana mind, especially jhana mind can produce strong powerful lights, not only internally but also externally. This kind of spread throughout the body. Among those, if one Analyze those clubs. In each club, there are eight types of materiality. Among eight types, there is color. That color begins luminous and bright. Again, if you analyze those clubs, in each club, there are eight types of materiality. Among eight types, there is fire element. That fire element is called temperature. That temperature also produces uncountable many, many millions of clappers. Okay, if you analyze these clappers, in each clapper there are also in the same way eight types of materiality. Among eight types there is color. That color also luminous and bright. This temperature burn light not only internally but also up to externally spread. So internal light is both. Two, two main, two types. Two types is my bone calabas color as well as temperature bone calabas color. Two types of calabas color. But externally, there is only temperature bone calabas color only. To build their own concentration, wisdom pergolity's power is very strong. When concentration is very deep, wisdom pergolity power also very great. When wisdom, the power of wisdom faculty is very great, then the light of wisdom is very bright. So, scientists, they do not understand this process of mind bone materiality as well as temperature bone materiality. Karma bone materiality has only internally, not externally. Mind bone materiality also rise only internally, not externally. Why they do not rise in external in any way? Why? As soon as they rise, this club has mind bone materiality as well as comma bone materiality. As soon as they rise, they pass away very, very quickly. There is no time to carry from this body to laboratory. Yeah. Their lifespan is only 70 mind moment only. Very short. Their life lifespan is very short. So they cannot carry up to laboratory. Now every day we are eating. Food is inside our stomach. 
If a meditator gains the same four elements in that newly eaten food, undigested food, they can see food is nothing but a group of clavas. Throughout our body there are life nonic clavas. Among those life nonic clavas there is fire element. That fire element is called digestive fire. When the digestive fire supports this nutritive essence of newly eaten food, that nutritive essence can produce new generation, new clappers. <coughs> In laboratory there is no digestive fire. <laughs> so because of this reason they do not understand this nutritive as core materiality. They can carry only one <coughs> piece of flesh to the laboratory. If we, if one mediator can then send this piece, huh, which they carry to laboratory, this piece is a group of clubbers. If one analyzes these clubbers, in each clubber there are eight types of materiality. What is the source? In each clubber there is fire element. That fire element can produce new generation, new clava. In that new generation, there is also again fire element. That fire element again produces another new generation. They can test in their own laboratory this temperature bomb materiality only. They cannot understand, especially in each clava, there are eight types of materiality because their investigation is in a different way. My meaning is we Buddhists are very lucky. <laughs> we can, if we practice systematically, we can understand four types of materiality by your own direct knowledge. This is the materiality aggregate only. This is the object of vipassana. If you do not understand this materiality by your direct knowledge, if you practice vipassana, your vipassana is just superficial only.
So number one, you should try to understand the noble truth of suffering. What is noble truth of suffering? Sankhidina Bichu Bhadana Khanda Dukha. This is in the past summer. Dhamma Chaka Bhadana Sutta. The Dhamma Hui Dhani Emotion Sutta. Bhadana mm-hmm. Display. In brief, high clinging aggregates are the noble truth of suffering. So, what are high clinging aggregates? The clinging aggregate of materiality. The clinging aggregate of feeling, the clinging aggregate of perception, the clinging aggregate of form, formations, and the clinging aggregate of consciousness. All together, there are five clinging aggregates. Among these five clinging aggregates, the clinging aggregate of materiality is materiality rupa. The clinging aggregate of feeling. The clinging aggregate of perception, the clinging aggregate of formations, and the clinging aggregate of consciousness. These four aggregates are mentality, nama. Five clinging aggregates and nama rupa, mentality and materiality are seven. So if you want to become noble one, like sort of bana, satri, wana, etc. First you must try to understand the noble truth of suffering. This is fact clinging or mentality and materiality in kind of direct knowledge. The among the aggregates I had explained materiality aggregate in my previous talk. Then you must continue to discern ultimate mentality. From so many leaders who had already practiced jhana practice, they can easily discern this mentality. In one my moment, for example, like like I consciousness my moment. There are eight types of mental formations. In so many moments, like jhana, part jhana concentration, there are thirty four mental formations. If a meditator cannot differentiate, this is consciousness, this is contact, this is feeling, this is perception, this is volition, etc. Then we cannot say he, he or she understands mentality. What is Buddha's instruction? Especially in Mahasatipthana Sutta. Four foundations of mindfulness, correct? Four foundations of mindfulness Sutta. Buddha says, this system. It is a gentle one, Gaye Gaya Nubasi, we heard it. Pahija one, Gaye Gaya Nubasi, we heard it. 
If there is no light of water, I consciousness cannot see. I consciousness also can see just color only, but my wisdom I in different ways, many ways they can see. can see ultimate, this is ultimate materiality, this is ultimate mentality, this is nature, this is dhoka, this is nata, etc. In different ways, many ways they can see.
you want to practice Tibetan origination to understand why you want direct knowledge, first you must try to discern ultimate mentality and materiality, both internally and externally. If a meditator gets on this proximate path, past causes, then she should try to discern mentality and materiality, but what up to the conception stage. For example, she should try to discern this morning mentality, materiality, yesterday mentality, materiality, three people yesterday mentality, materiality, etc. Then up to the inside mother's womb, up to the conception stage or path linking by movement stage. After discerning ultimate materiality and mentality in conception stage, in this very life, then a meditator must continue to discern mentality and materiality in previous existence, especially near that moment. Usually, in the end of birth, linking mind movement or conception stage, there are three types of materialities and the four types of mental formations. Three types of clubbers are body tagged clubber, sack tagged clubber, and heart tagged clubber. In each clubber, there are ten types of materiality such as earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive present, life faculty, and body transparency or sex determinant materiality or heart tagged, heart base. After discerning this materiality and mentality, one should continue to discern ultimate materiality and mentality in previous life. According to Buddha's teaching, in previous life, last mind movement is called death consciousness mind movement. In this early life, first mind movement is called birth linking mind movement. Between these two mind movements, death Consciousness mind movement and path linking mind movement, there is no cap. No interval, no interval line. Immediately after that consciousness finished, then path linking mind movement and this very line arrives. Immediately, you must try to see these two types of mind movements. Then he should try to see that proximate object in previous life. I would like to explain with one example. Hmm? A lady, when she gets some death proximate object, she saw she is offering food to the Sangha. However, when offering food to the Sangha, she is not woman, she is Bhikkhu. <laughs> so, when she gets one by one, four elements in each person, other mentality and material are not one line to his to her mentality and materiality. But when he when she does one week operating week operating, uh, then, then his mentality and materiality are one line up to this present moment. Then I suggest her to descend actually when offering for mentality and materiality. To discern mentality and materiality when she is really offering food to the Sangha. When offering food, she had no wish to be to become woman and future existence. But she had one type of inclination. What is the problem? When visiting to different pagodas, on the way I see the tree, he saw one lady. Very beautiful man with long hair. That lady's hair is very thick and very long. She is very beautiful. And then that, that Beku has the desire to be like that lady. This is, this is my... <laughs>
This is problem. <laughs> then one day he offered to the food to the Sangha. When offering food, he had such memory. <laughs> so he had inclination to be such a beautiful man with a long hair woman. One by moment. <laughs> One by moment the set to become man or to become woman. If he knows beautiful woman with long hair, such understanding is wrong understanding. This wrong understanding is called Ovija ignorance. Depending on this ignorance, she had attachment to that woman's life. That attachment is called craving dana. The repeated attachment is called clinging over dana. These three are the development rounds clearly supported. So depending on this development round, she accumulates Hoswan Kama. Which type of Hoswan Kama? Offering food to the Sangha. While offering food to the Sangha, there are 34 mental formations. These 34 mental formations are called Sankara. But these Sankaras are also nature and family. As soon as they arise, they pass away very, very quickly. But they, when they pass away, perishing away, they left behind the karma potentiality, which can produce new existence. So altogether, there are five causes. Ignorance, craving, clinging, pollution informations, and karma potentiality. So karma already exists. It is not easy to destroy. If you want to destroy this karma, then you must try to be Arha. Only Arha but can destroy completely without Omega this karma potentiality. So all together there are five causes already exist. Then the, these five causes become mature in time of death. Because of the mature to this karma potentiality, in the end of death, this object appears again. Mm. This object means offering food to the Sangha, this object appears again. So, because of this karma potentiality, then if she trying to see causal relationship between cause and effect, then karma potentiality in this very life, 30 types of rupa materiality, in the end of birth, again, my moment. So she tried to see both sides, karma potentiality, here materiality, karma potentiality, materiality. Then this karma potentiality produces these 30 types of materiality she already see. So mind produces mind from materiality. In the same way, this karma also produces karma from material and then of God like a moment. After this only this cause and effect, she cried a lot. <laughs> we could be gay woman, others why? <laughs> Is it okay? Good? <laughs> so one by moment is very important. Hmm? While accumulating karma, if you cannot control your mind, this is problem. That lady in this very light, very thick and very low hair. <laughs> karma create this one. Hmm? When she stand up, her hair is on the floor. Very long. <laughs> <laughs> so, karma is very wonderful. If you understand this debated origination, by your direct knowledge, at that time only, you can become real for this. Why? You cannot change. Because you understand karma, you understand karma produces karma materiality and mentality. At the day you will not accept there is creator, 
there is no karma or there is no future existence, there is no past existence. Such type of wrong views will never rise to your mind. Buddha only teach there is cause, there is effect. But Buddha also teach because of the complete cessation of causes, I believe it also sits completely without reminder. That cessation is also called Niroda Sitya, the cessation of suffering in the Tayana Sutta. Why causes we have already explained, ignorance, craving, clinging, 
Promise to Sankara, original formations and karma potentiality by aggregate Christ. This is causal rising. Then causal cessation means because of the complete cessation of these five causes, ignorance, craving, clinging, original formations and karma potentiality, the five aggregate seeds completely without reminder. That complete cessation is because of Arahampat. Arahampat destroys all the means, ignorance, craving, and clinging. Because of the complete cessation of these causes, then five degrees after final cessation, no more exists. That complete cessation only. But here, Buddha teaching is called Vipicca Vada. Vipicca Vada means because of this, this rise, because of the cessation of this, this cease, in this way only. The destruction of the ten speckles is for those for one who knows and sees. It is not for one who does not know and does not see. This is Buddha's teaching in Sicca Sanyoga, Aswakriya Sangha. I only recite that Sangha in Pali. Is it okay? Fantastic. Jana do hambi kavi pasato aswana kya vadami no a jana do no a pasato. Kincha bhi kavi jana do kavi pasato aswana kya hodi. Idan do gani bhi kavi jana do pasato aswana kya hodi. Ayan do ka sumudiyo di jana do pasato aswana kya hodi. Ayanduka Niyodo Ni Chanado Pasado Aswana Kyo Hodi. Ayanduka Niyodo Gamini Vadivadadi Chanado Pasado Aswana Kyo Hodi. Eungo Pikuke Chanado Eung Pasado Aswana Kyo Hodi. That's Madiha Pikuke Itanduka Ni Yoko Karniyo. Ayanduka Sumudiyo Ni Yoko Karniyo. Ayanduka Niyodo Ni Yoko Karniyo. Ayanduka Niroda Kami Nibri Vidadi Yoko Kariniyo.